Okay everyone, hello, it's me again, Josh, and I am doing my first ever DVD review. I do unboxings, but I haven't done a in-depth DVD review, so let's, and I chose Daredevil. Mm-hmm. Now, this is the two-disc special edition, you see, um, disc one, Daredevil, this to Electra, and this is not a director's cut, even though I wish it was, but this is the theatrical edition that was released in 2003. The director's cut came out in 2004. Now, I think this is a very good, I, I have already reviewed the movie already, so if you haven't seen my review of the movie, you can check it out, but this is the DVD review. We're reviewing the DVD and what's all on the DVD. So, this I'm let me start off with disc one. Disc one, you have your usual stuff: play movie, scene selection, language selection, special features. And when you first put in the movie, it, it you think that the movie is starting, but because it shows 20th Century Fox logo. But it goes from the normal to Daredevil's power shadow world. And so you hear all the other sounds. As you are hearing the Fox theme, then it goes straight to the main menu. And so, on the special features for Disc 1, you have a text commentary, which can be played with any soundtrack of your choice, including the audio commentary one. And what this, the text commentary is, is that subtitles will appear on the screen during the movie that will relate details about the film's production, the actors, the story, even tidbits about the Marvel comics and how what one is watching on screen relates to the actual comic book itself. Then you have the enhanced viewing mode. And the enhanced viewing mode on here is... It show, you have the option of using it or not using it and so in which this icon will pop up on your screen and by hitting enter on your remote you will jump to a special multi-angle scene study which features three angles and they are narrated by the visual effects producer John Kilkenny and I thought that was a cool feature the, co the audio commentary by the director and producer they um they go very in depth, de depth about the movie. They talk about what had to be cut and what, had, which I can't blame Mark Stephen Johnson and I can't blame the studio, but I will blame the producer though. <laughs> but I I have to give him a little bit of credit. Um, it does break my heart a little bit that Ben Affleck has been in two superhero movies and both of them gets extreme unfair hate, but later go on to become cult classics. <laughs> But also you have DVD-ROM, and you know what that is, so I don't know. Now, now disc two with Electra. On disc two, you have the special features are divided into two major sections: the film and the comic book. Both each section provide a number of features about the movie and the comic. In the film section, you get uh, you get Beyond Hell's Kitchen, the making of Daredevil. You get a great hour-long documentary that takes you through the complete process of the film's green lighting, pre-production, production, post-production, post and release in theaters. And you also have an enhanced viewing mode, just like on disc one, to jump out of the documentaries for multi-angle featurettes, which I thought the documentary on this. It's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. I like. I love it. I love the documentary. And Mark, you can tell Mark Stevie Johnson put a lot of heart and a lot of care into the movie. It just the movie was ruined by producer interference. <laughs> a certain studio says, "Hey, let's let's cut down a certain movie and put it out for a Valentine's Day 2003 release." And that's exactly what they did. The other special features you have a screen test of Jennifer Garner as a lecturer auditioning for a role. Multi-angle scene studies which allows you to look at two different angles of a scene at the same time and in the third angle. 
a 25 man documentary HBO first look of Daredevil that is more glossier than the other outlaw documentary made specifically for the release of the movie moving through space which is a day with Tom Sullivan who was a consultant on the movie Tom. and you also get three music videos the music videos you got for you by the calling you got fuel with won't back down which I lo love that song and you got Evanescence Bring Me to Life and plus soundtrack promo you also got fiasco trailers the teaser plus two longer trailers and trailers for day 28 days later and leave the story near jail man you also get photo galleries divide into sections including storyboards costume production designs production stills and props and also bloopers in the comic book session you have you get Another documentary, which is called Men Without Fear, you get to see comments story is about the history of the comic book from Stan Lee, John Romita, Frank Miller, Gajo Kasada, Kevin Smith, uh, which I found another good ass. You also get a Shadow World Tour, which compares how the comic and the book portrays that. And you also get modeling sheets and as well. The only thing that's on the director's cut DVD, which I, I had to watch this feature on YouTube, is um, cre making the director's cut of Daredevil. And I think that documentary is really cool. The Mark Stephen Johnson and others, they're talking about differences between the director's cut and the theatrical cut and discussing the R rating and working with the studio on the production. Because they have to cut out a lot, cut out a lot of stuff for the theatrical release. But whichever version, I recommend you watch the director's cut. But if you want to watch the theatrical cut first, go right ahead. But I still think this is an underrated movie. But the DVD itself is going to get my JD Rainbow Seal of approval. So let me know in the comments below what you think about the DVD, theatrical, or director's cut. Do you like special features? Do you hate them? And I'll see you guys in the next DVD review.